reading she told me to cut back on caffeine and sugar because of my high energy I have a learning disability called Asperger's syndrome which normally causes me to be quite up in my head most people who are non psychics um, tell me to cut back on the Java because they think I'm drinking too much coffee and that's why I'm so hyper however if she were truly psychic she would not have said to cut back on coffee and sugar like non psychics and she would have picked up that I had a disability or something wrong with my condition making this hyperness innate to me so I strongly suspect that that, coupled with the, uh, the she, her refusal to take the test, proved that she was a cold reader. However, not to be deterred and trying to find out if psychic phenomena actually still existed, I went out with this particular test, however using a telepathic form of it, to see if psychic phenomena were real. What I did was I split um, two separate categories, a skeptic and a believer's category, ran 50 trials of a computer simulated five card ESP test. Every time a new card showed up, I would jingle a chain to symbolize to show that the next card has shown up, and um, then I would have them guess uh, each time, and I would click the results. Circle. I could feel it. Robert. Okay, next. Square. Next. Circle. No cheating. I conducted 50 trials on both the Believers and the Skeptic runs. With the Believers runs, I got 28 hits out of 50, giving a probability of 1 times 10 to the minus 9, and a whopping 1.6 billion to 1 against chance. Whereas with the Skeptic's run, I only got some 7 hits out of 50, which didn't deviate from chance at all.